Nice to see you. Today I'm making a simple tapioca pudding for a sick room supper. For this recipe you will need tapioca, lemon, cinnamon, milk, sugar, eggs and pastry. Tapioca is a simple dish that every cook must know how to make. It is ideal for the nursery as well as the sick room, as it's light and easy to digest and can be flavoured to suit the patient or the child's needs. Tapioca does take a long time to cook and so I'm going to simply cook it with some milk lemon zest and a cinnamon stick. Then I'm going to bring it to the boil and put it to the side of the range to let it gently simmer for about two hours. Tapioca is a starch, I think, from South America and is from the cassava root, although the plant itself is poisonous. I have no idea how they discovered it. I better get this cooking. Now that my tapioca is cooked, I need to line the edges of my pie dish with pastry. This is just a basic short crust. I've already greased my pie dish. This is a very versatile pudding. You can make it with milk or cream and you can flavour it with spices as you like. I believe in the olden days it was elaborate. It had bone marrow and rose water and fortified wine in it. But this is how we make it now. If you don't have an oven, then it can be boiled. And then I like to add butter and eggs and put it in a mould. The Portuguese serve it in glasses and you eat it with a little spoon, a bit like syllabub. Now I'm going to add my tapioca mix. But first I need to take out the lemon and the cinnamon stick. And now I'm going to add some sugar and some eggs. The mix is cool enough for them not to scramble, but they will thicken it as it cooks. There's no need to cook the pastry first because it's going to go into a hot oven and it doesn't have a bottom. Otherwise, then it would be a tart or an open pie. I really like this pudding, but I know for some it's not much loved. Mr Strutt was telling me that at his boarding school this was called frog spawn and was quite tasteless and a, and a bit like glue. I don't know what his parents were paying for. I'm now going to put this in an oven for about half an hour. My pudding's just out of the oven and it smells very good. Puddings like this are perfect for the sick room 
as it's important to provide dishes that are simple and delicate so as not to excite emotion or nausea. I'll serve this straight away. There we are, tapioca pudding, a simple tasty dish ideal for those with small or unformed appetites.